Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Pathway Channel. Today, we will uh, discuss together the Kesselman uh, disease. And as you know, the Kesselman disease is a clinical pathologic uh, entity, and it encompasses a group of systemic polyclonal lymphoproliferative disorders. And in the Kesselman disease, we have proliferation of morphologically, morphologically benign lymphocytes. We may have a proliferation of plasma cells and vessels. Um, it may be associated or induced by the HHV8 uh, virus. And this is the low power. We are at 4x. Uh, we can see a lymph node. And in Kesselman disease, the morphology is very important, uh, plus some stains that I will show you. But from the morphology here, it's characterized by the onion skinning or this concentric uh, appearance of this mental zone and the proliferation of the vessels like here there is a vessel or a venule going into this follicle so this is giving the what we call the lollipop appearance with this uh, handle uh, it's also characterized by hyalinization of the germinal uh, center so with the stains, we should see negative staining for all germinal centers uh, stains like the BCL6 and the CD10. This we will see later on um, the uh, stains, uh, the other slides. So um, I'll go on high power, but from the low power here, I will go around to uh, appreciate more follicles. So here again, we can see kind of a venule and this another hyalinization maybe this is a bit remnant of the germinal center but again some hyalinization is going on here and here and this again same uh, onion skinning or uh, the concentric uh, lamination that you can see on low power let's go on high power From the low power and even from the high power, we could not appreciate any atypical or large cells. So here we are speaking about a monotonous or monomorphic uh, type of lymphocytes that are um, uh, present all over the, uh, the, the slide. Let's move around. This is one uh, follicle. I hope I can adjust it. Yes, this is one uh, follicle. And as you can see, this there is some hyalinization here with a venule trying to get out. And these are the concentric layers of these uh, lymphocytes. Um, this is another venule or another follicle. And again, you can see the hyalinization with the concentric uh, lamination and maybe a remnant of the germinal center. This follicle maybe is showing a bit of the characteristic feature of the Kesselman, the lollipop appearance. If you imagine this is the handle and this is the lollipop, so it's a bit um, uh, typical to the description. This is another follicle with the same lollipop uh, appearance. I will not waste your time more on this, but this is the morphology. It's important to identified from low power and high power here, and then look at the stains. The stains as we used, we will go on low power to appreciate the staining. So I will start by, if you can guess, this is staining the follicles. So this is CD20. So again, the follicles here, they have the RB cells and all around here, they are T cells. Let's go and see the T cell staining. For the T cells, we use the CD5 or CD3, whatever. And here, this is the beautiful reciprocal uh, staining. So cells which got stained by CD20 here, the B cells, they are now negative, And all the T cells around, they are the one staining. So till now, everything looks fine. Let's see the germinal center uh, stains. And we will start by CD10. So as you can see, it's all negative. We don't have any germinal centers. Maybe a bit remnant of a germinal center here, 
but this is very small. Otherwise, all follicles, they don't have the germinal center. Let's go for another marker, the BCL6. Again, the BCL6 is showing negative staining, so no germinal center. This is consistent with Kesselman disease. As we didn't see any large cells and it's just monomorphic small cells, let's exclude other indolent lymphomas. So this is the cycle in D1 to exclude mental cell lymphoma. And we already have um, like the CD5, it's reciprocal staining just the T cells. But again, the cycle in D1 is negative. I hope you can watch other videos for uh, the staining and for other indolent lymphomas just to compare uh, what kind of stains do we use? This is the CD21, and we use it to um, stain the dendritic or the follicular dendritic meshwork. Uh, and this is, again, very positive in the dendritic meshwork, and which is uh, okay. And we mentioned that this may be associated with some viral infections. So we did here the Eber, and this is the stain. It's all uh, negative, these are just artifacts, and here it's all negative staining. Here we can go on higher power, so we don't have clear staining of the cells. These are just artifacts, but the rest of this, even they are present at a different level. So this is all negative cells. This is the proper level, and these are all negative cells. And we mentioned that it may be associated with HHV8 virus. So again, this is the stain and it's negative. So this one is negative for HHV8 virus. Last thing as we used to end our videos by the KI67, just to make sure that we have an indolent kind of disease, not a highly aggressive one. And this is again, very low proliferative index. All these stains, like I can go on higher power to show you this stain. So few cells take the stain, other cells they don't. And this is um, uh, one of the follicles. So this was the Kesselman disease. I hope you liked the video. Please watch other lymphoproliferative disease videos just to correlate the stains, to correlate the morphology. And if you liked the uh, video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.